Yo, it's Surreal Canine. We're here with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explores a sky. I need to focus on the, on the thing here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> In the last episode, we uh, we beat a funky kind of boss who was uh, uh, causing problems for Ben. So now we are uh, going to uh, continue the story. All right, Ben. Uh, actually, I should probably uh, look through my items here. Yep, there's definitely a lot of stuff I got to uh, stash. <laughs> uh, let's see here. do I really need? Let's be realistic here. Yet again, uh, some more music that I like a whole lot, but anyway. Yeah, good idea. Alright, Ben. What's up? Yep, they're gonna catch up to us. We gotta get out of the land of darkness and or the future. So yeah, let's get going. Seem to finally be prepared. Let's go then. We'll find Selby and return to the past. Let's go. Oh wait, don't go. What is it? The three of us do return to our world. Uh, Ben, will you steal the time gears like you did before? Well, yes, I will. Otherwise, the plan's paralysis can't be stopped. But I, uh, is it? I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you yet. I'm only cooperating with you because I want to return to our world. And because Daniel trusts him, but I mean, yeah, Daniel doesn't even, isn't even sure why he trusts Ben so much, so uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. If we do return, I'll investigate if you really were stealing this time gears to prevent the plant's paralysis. Who else is even going to know? Like... Like, I don't really get what you're trying to say here, Mr. Guy. <sighs> Do as you will, but keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to your world. So, for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. I feel it. I'm sensing something strange. Hmm? What's the matter, Daniel? I just know it. I felt something like this before. It was... That's right, it was when... In the foggy forest, so Daniel has been here as well. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry up! found us. Good times. Alright, so here we are in Dust Forest. This is an eight floor dungeon with uh, various different types of Pokemon. This Magus here is a pure ghost type. He evolves form of Mischievous. As for, uh, whoops. Alright, so, uh, actually, we should check out what Ben's stats are. We can't actually see... Well, we can't really see his stats, but we can see that he's level 46. So, uh, uh yeah, we're dealing with a guy here who has, uh, quite a history of, uh, fighting for stuff. We can't see his moveset. That's fine, I guess. Pure seed, that's good. Oh yeah, Pure Seed is a uh, stairs warp. I should use that on the next floor, maybe. Get 
Gabite, a uh, dragon ground type, I believe. Which means he really should be letting Ben deal with him, but uh, we're not for some reason. Jump Bluff, grass flying type, the evolved form of Skiploom. Ooh, we got a TM for dive. Nice. I don't think we need uh, TMs unlike for uh, certain dungeons, unlike in the... Uh, unlike in the Red and Blue Rescue Team. We just, uh, we can just go anywhere we want. <coughs> Alright, let's use that Pure Seed. No sense holding on to it now. The stairs were up here the whole time. Stairs are in this room the whole time. <laughs> Ooh, hello. I didn't see that. Poison jab. I guess that's nice. I can't really think of anything to give it to. Mothin, the other evolved form of uh, Burmy. Mothin evolves from male Burmies. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. I can't exactly uh, deal with this guy, so uh, you guys deal with him. Ooh, nice. Gorgeous box. I'll take that. Another TM! This one's for Flash. There's another Gabite. This guy I can actually deal with for once. Yeah, there we go. 400 experience. Pretty rad. This is a, uh, this is a big floor. Hey, Abram level up. First one of the uh, main trio to hit level 30. I think we're actually still doing more damage with... Yeah. I mean, Scratch is useful as a backup move, but uh, it is kind of, at this point, objectively weaker than uh, Fire Fang. I hope they get Flamethrower soon. We got a Palette Change. Okay, Lucky Chant uh, protects all targets from critical hits. It's kind of a rude uh, thing. Dang it. <laughs> that was not the correct direction. Oh, I'm out of a PP for Fire Fang. Good figure. Thorn. I mean, I haven't been using my uh, my darts very much, but still. Wide Slash. That sounds like it uh, can hit multiple targets. Not that it's uh, ever anything we would want to deliberately be using. <laughs> Considering how outmatched we would be against three guys at once. Abram, please be the thing. You were not the thing. Please be the thing. Thank you. I am not really that big on ghost types. Oh, hello. Okay. Midpoint. Is this... 
Is this where Celebi is supposed to be? That's right. It was around here that I met her last time. But if Primal Dialga knows of this place, uh, she will have fled from here. This place isn't known to our pursuers, however. Then Celebi should still be here. Hello? Celebi? It's me, Ben. Reveal yourself, if you're here. She's not coming out. Did she get frightened off by Primal Dialga? What if... What if she's been captured? Captured? Ugh, where'd that voice come from? But now, I don't hear anything. That voice, was I just hearing things? <laughs> you didn't imagine it. Me? Captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. It's been too long, my dear. Uh, yes, it has been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing is Celebi? Now that is downright rude. How inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Uh, sorry. I heard you have the ability to cross time, so I expected you to be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth. Never judge someone by appearance. But uh, I forgive you. After all, you must find me cuter and more special than you imagined. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Selby, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Benjamin, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed in your mission in the past, yes? Yes. I hope you managed this time. I've had quite enough of this. Living in this dark and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, no time to chat. The Sable Eye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll, we'll have brought trouble to you. <laughs> it's quite fine. There's no need to be worried. Let this Sable Eye come. They have no concern with me. Besides, if you would be so kind as to prevent the plant's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My dear Grovile. Ben, here's one for you to count. I'll devote my whole life to achieve that end. Alright, where's the passage of time? It's ready. It's nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes. Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, what's this? Your brother! What? No, that can't be. Is something the matter, Selby? Hang on, everyone. I've returned. No, it's nothing. Well then, shall we? Off to the passage of time. So yeah, Selby. Oh, so what is the passage of time? Passage of time is a portal that Selby uses to travel through time. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself, but for big trips that span many generations, I must use the passage of time. Oh, so if we were to go through that passage of time, yes, you'll be over eternity or time. Oh, I see it! There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good, we'll leave as soon as we're ready. So listen, this is just a little secret. Did you know that Ben is really impatient and hasty? I know he wants to hurry, but I do wish he would slow down a little. She would make me happier if he did. I spend as much time as I can with him. Uh, th that, that's not how I meant it, not at all. I don't have any special feelings for him or anything. We can return to the past by going through the passage of time. We're almost there. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. So yeah, Celebi, uh... Yeah, apparently, uh, Benjamin came here with his brother, and uh, Celebi is mistaking Daniel for Ben's brother. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> so yeah, in the last episode, Ben would have revealed that he is uh, from a faraway land called Hyrule, uh, this place being Xenia. Uh, Ganon, of course, uh, killed Dialga a hundred years ago and took control of his body because... 
reasons, I guess. I don't know. I didn't really think uh, through a whole lot of this when I was writing the fanfic. But anyway, from the top of Temporal Tower, he stopped the flow of time and plunged the entire world into darkness. Malleus uh, is Ganon's top enforcer, and he came after Ben and uh, his brother because they were going to change the past. Uh, Abram asks a little bit about it, but Ben hesitates and says it's not important right now. Daniel would uh, just be lost in thought while Abram and Ben were talking, and then Selby uh, comes, uh, shows up and uh, says, Hey, you're Ben's brother. Maybe. Alright. Uh, got a whole bunch of TMs to put in storage again. We're gonna have this gorgeous box here. The rest we can just hold on to. So yeah, on to the second half of Dusk Forest. <coughs> Good, we're leaving. Must make our way into the passage of time. Let's go. Deep Dusk Forest is a 12 floor dungeon and mostly uh, features ground types. It's a good thing we got two grass types on our team now. Celebi here is a uh, grass psychic type uh, with uh, pretty good stats in every category. I couldn't tell you her exact moveset, uh, we're not going to be finding that out right away. Maybe later. It's Leafeon! Leafeon is a grass type. One of uh, Eevee's many evolved forms. Very cute. I like foxes. <laughs> They're cute. Here. It's Rhydon! Rhydon is a rock and ground type, which means we're going to let... Abram, you doofus, we're going to let Ben handle this guy. Ooh, that's a multi <laughs> I'm glad I got out of the way. Yeah, look at that! 300 damage! Ben, you are pretty cool. So, Leafeon. Don't waste your shockwave on Leafeon. Come on. Damn, Abram. All right. Ooh, a violent seed. Very nice. Attack and special attack are boosted to the highest levels. I could have sworn we already picked one of those up before, but I guess not. Oh, jeez. Ben, do something super! Never mind. Oh no! <laughs> that, that sure was an explosion there. Um, yeah, that cost everybody like half their HP, I think. That raises everyone's critical hit ratio, I think. Thunk. How rude! <laughs> uh, Shockwave TM. That's nice, I guess. Not that we really have anyone who could make any benefit from it besides save him, and he already has shot- Whoa, Sandstorm. That's, uh, unexpected. Is it because we got, like, a Tyranitar? Uh, we got it. No, it's Hippalon. Okay, first off, Agron, Rock Steel type. The evolved form of, uh, the final form of Aron. Hippalon is a pure ground type, I think, the evolved form of Hippopotus. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be some annoying weather. Sandstorm, I believe, got triggered by uh, Hippaldon's ability. It's kind of the worst thing. Uh, 
Of course we hit a dead end. Ooh, Steelix. Steelix is a uh, rock steel type, I think. Evolved form of Onyx. Very big snake sort of thing. Hey, there's a ride on. Donk. Whoa. Uh, that was not a very strong ancient power there, Celebi. <laughs> Ancient power has a, a small chance of uh, boosting all of your stats. It's pretty nice. Another dead end. This is the worst thing! It really is. It's a video game. Oop. More of these guys, and... Hey, th all the way back there. This is gonna get a I could use the Spurn Orb, but I kind of also want to save it. And what do I do? None of these guys are at all suited to fighting the two guys in front. Well, at least we got him to flinch. I guess we get smoke screen and it's scratching to death. Steelix at least uh, takes neutral damage from Fire Fang. Or a uh, super. Okay, I, I guess that means he's a steel ground. Not, just, not rock steel. Go figure. A smoke screen for you. Because, yeah, we do not want to get hit with ground types. What even is the deal with this map right now? <laughs> Oh, dang it. Alright, uh, this is gonna get awkward. But we blinded, uh... Yeah, we blinded Steelix, so it's kind of fine. Let's get out of here. That's a very awkward floor. I'm already out of PP for Fire Fang, which is pretty bad. I'm gonna see how far I can get on Scratch. Never mind. Uh, I do have an Exelixir, okay. We got a hard box, that's nice. What's in here? Yeah, well, it's not like she's even gonna notice us, so. More guys! That's pretty great. <sighs> okay, no, you know what? Smoke screen. That's what I like to see. Thank you. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. forget that floor was a thing, too. Oh, boy. Another standstorm, stand yes. That's not going to be useful to us, if, unless we get poisoned, but... Uh, Oh, does anybody here know poison type moves? Probably not. Right? Piper Beam! Huh. Donk. <laughs> wow, level 31. Way to go, Mr. Guy. going to be about level 40 by the time we finish, if this keeps up. Ow. You think I can still throw stuff when I'm flinching? Alright, well, I got Celebi behind me now. I guess that's good. I went the wrong way from the beginning. Oh no, I'm hungry. And for now, we are still fine. Oh wait, that reset my, uh, that reset my swords dance, didn't it? Oh well. Here, have a stick. floor. Slow orb. We don't really... Yeah, I think we can make it to the end before we have to eat. Oh, well, that was awkward. Another one. Why do I keep missing? That kind of works, I guess. You got a lot of HP there, Leafeon. There we go, we made it out. Oh, I see it now. There it is. Is that the passage of time? That's right, that's the passage of time. 
I went through that to the pass, to go to the pass. At Selby, only you can open the pass at a time. Do your thing. Sure. Stop there. That will do. What? That voice! It can't be! Hello to you all. It's been a while. Malleus! Malleus! You're scurrying carried you far. But sad to say, that's all over now. Yeah! <laughs> Sableye, too. That's crafty, Malleus. You allowed us to roam free, but you kept your eye on us the whole time. So you could capture Selby as well as us. What? It seemed we were followed the whole time? Didn't see this coming. It's all my fault, Selby. Oh? Apologies don't suit your style, my dear. Do you honestly think that I can be caught? <laughs> Everyone, are you ready to fight? What? Of course! We're gonna power our way through. We'll push them aside, then dive into the passage of time. Got it! Ha! So you'll resist? Spare yourself the effort. You have no chance to, to survive make your time. <laughs> we don't know for sure until we try. Malice, you and me, now! Benjamin, are you really such a fool to think that I'd come alone? Now, Master Dialga. Look, it turned pitch black. And here he is, the guy himself. That, that's Benjamin. What is that? That's... Ganon. What? That? That's Ganon? What's wrong, Benjamin? Where's your bravado now? Ugh. My dear. This is it for us. What? Why? Are we gonna fight? It's hopeless. Malice on his own is one thing, but we'll stand a chance against Ganon. You two have kept up so well. I'm sorry to let you down. This is where it ends. I surrender. Do with me as you will. But, Benjamin... What's the matter? It's not like you to give up so easily. Yes, I'm giving up, but hope is still alive. Selby, you remember? The last time I traveled back in time to prevent the planet's paralysis? I wasn't alone. There was another. What? Benjamin, you didn't come to our world alone? That's right. My brother came with me. We headed to the pass together, but when we were going through the passage of time, we had trouble. But we got separated. My brother should still be back in the world of the past, even if I'm eliminated. He will see our mission through to the end. Daniel will prevent the plant's paralysis. Ha! <laughs> what? What's so funny? Ha! So you claim someone went to the past with you. Incidentally, what's the name of your brother? We just said. Why ask such a thing? Can't tell me. No, that's not true. My brother's name is Daniel. My best friend. Wh what? Uh, Benjamin, did you say Daniel? Uh, well, this is Daniel right here! What? You're... Daniel? <sighs> I should have known. Yeah, yeah, he's a human, but, uh, yeah. Need I remind you, Daniel's mother is a Charizard. <laughs> Precisely. A good fellow, Benjamin, that is unmistakably your brother. Lord Ganon had given me a mission. It was to get rid of you, the two of you, because you fled to the past. I traveled through time in pursuit of you both. In the past, I gathered intelligence that might help me find you. And at one point, I met Team Olympia. Hello there. You're from the Guild, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, we're Team Olympia. We work at the Guild. It's great to meet you. At that point, I suspected nothing. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. 
excuse me, a dream, you say? By dream, what do you mean? When I mentioned the... Wait, I when I mentioned Chekhov's lens, I was skeptical at first, but then an idea began to take shape in my mind, and... Yes, with the memory of a name, and the memory of being a human before that. I beg your pardon? A human? So, a former human with no memories, who also possessed Chekhov's lens. I became convinced then. You said you know your name, at least, and that name would be... No, it means nothing to me, unfortunately. There's no doubt, Miss Daniel is the very one that I've been seeking. So that Daniel developed amnesia and was transformed into a Pokémon. Which must be because of the accident during your time travel. Well, his memory loss was a lucky stroke for me. After all, he failed to recognize who I am. It's quite easy to win over his trust. It was also easy to drag them to the future when the time came. Malleus really was lying. She left you, Ben. The last part of the job to finish. I was a human from the future? And Benjamin is my brother? And that's how I ended up in Abram's world? Daniel, Benjamin, with both of you here, everything will end when we finally dispose of you. That will finally put an end to this world's hope. Everything ends! Everything ends for you! <laughs> Malleus! You finally come to terms with your fate. Ben, Daniel. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end for you. Hey, B Daniel, Benjamin, you can't give up. You say not to give up? What can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think! I know. Uh, Celebi, can your time travel ability just transport us just the short distance into the passage of time? Won't be easy with Ganon here. Dialga is the temporal Pokemon. It controls time itself. If I can make us travel in time, he'll have no trouble exposing it. Just has to work for an instant. Please. Attack! Time to travel! <laughs> they vanished? Lord Ganon! Time radar activated! Our time traveling path has been shut. What? <laughs> what? Dive in now, you can make it. Now, into the passage of time. What about you? Don't fret over me. I told you I can't be caught. Stop the plant's paralysis. Change history. Thanks. Thank you, Celebi. You're not getting away. Bye bye Gah. Yep, we are saving, and that is the end for us. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Tune in tomorrow when we uh, continue the story.